Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I am gonna show you the new features Microsoft plans to release in the version 24H2. This is part of the build 26100.712, which is available through the release preview channel. This is an overview of the changes Microsoft plans with the release of the version 24H2. So, let's begin. Firstly, the changes you are gonna notice is the Copilot, which has now been transformed into an app. Instead of being on the system tray menu on the taskbar, it is a plain web app, pre-installed to Microsoft Edge. If you open Copilot, it has a new interface, but if you go to settings and select more tools, we can see that it is a straight web application. If we open Edge and go to Copilot website and try to install Copilot, it is already present in the apps menu of Edge. The another thing to notice is the layout of Copilot and ChatGPT. The two apps are quite similar. Besides, Copilot provides you will Copilot GPTs, plugins and notebook. You can also change the conversation style from top menu, and from this menu, you can sign in and sign out of the application. Windows 11 version 24H2 also brings changes to the sudo or super user do command. It provides an efficient way to temporarily grant users privileged access to system resources, so that they can run commands that they cannot run under their regular accounts. This command also allows you to perform operation like deleting protected files through elevated commands. This setting needs to be manually turned on. To do this, go to settings. Then go to system tab and select, for developer option. And turn on the enable sudo option. Then select inline option for running the commands. For example, to delete a file from the system, open command prompt, and search the file directories, here the file is sample output, if we try to delete it normally. It is showing an error, but when we use sudo command before delete, and then execute the command, the file is deleted. When you open settings, go to system and select power and battery. We get to see a new energy saver feature replaced by battery saver mode. It increases battery life and reduces energy usage on the PC. To enable this feature, you need to turn on the always use energy saver button. For laptop users, you can set it to turn on automatically. When your battery reaches a specific percentage, the new update also introduces several changes to the file explorer. You can now create 7-zip and tar archive file formats using file explorer. For example, right click on the folder, go to compress to, and select additional options. You can compress the file according to your requirements. Custom archive format, compression method and compression level. Then click create. One thing to remember is that, you cannot set passwords to the folder. Microsoft is also working on labeling the context of the action like, cut, copy, rename etc. For the ease of users, there is a change in the quick settings menu, you can now scroll down the option, instead of using buttons to navigate. Another improvement made by Microsoft is, enhancing the voice clarity. It is an AI-powered feature, which works automatically by cancelling echo and suppressing the background noise in real time. However, this feature works on supported applications. There is also support for Wi-Fi 7, which provides faster speed. But, you should have Wi-Fi 7 network card to experience this. The company is also working on the color management setting. The option is available in display section of system tab. Click on color profile setting. Select the display and click add profile to access your imported profiles. You can also calibrate your display by clicking on calibrate display menu. In the system tab, go to AI components to see all the AI components installed on the computer. It is similar to system components menu, which Microsoft added few updates back. Then, go to Bluetooth and devices and select printers and scanners. You can now see the Windows printer protected mode. It disables third-party printer drivers and only supports printers certified by Mopria only. In this build preview, Microsoft is also enhancing device encryption. 
It ensures that your device is protected, by encrypting the entire system drive, and keeps unwanted users away from accessing your data. If you go to the Location tab of Privacy and Security, you can limit which apps can have access to your location. You can turn off this feature in the Notify when apps request location button. You can see the activity of the apps that have access to your location from the recent activity button. Microsoft has also announced the Recall feature, a new AI-powered feature for upcoming Copilot Plus PCs with Windows 11. Recall allows you to search through your past actions by recording your screen and using that data to help you remember things. It is able to see what you do on your PC, what apps you use, how you use the apps, and what you do inside the apps, including your conversations. In apps like WhatsApp, Recall records everything, and saves the snapshots in the local storage. For example, if you want to refer to a conversation with your colleague and learn more about your meeting, you can ask Recall to look into all the conversations with that specific person, then Recall will look for the particular conversation in all apps, tabs, settings, etc. Recall helps you in locating files in a large download pileup. You can delete the stored snapshots, adjust and delete time ranges in settings, or pause Recall using the taskbar icon. Moreover, filtering apps and websites to prevent them from being recorded is also possible. You'll be able to install updates for Windows 11 Recall AI and other features through Windows updates. However, you won't be able to try Recall until the September-October 2024 update. Recall is exclusive to Snapdragon X processors only, because Intel and AMD chips do not meet the minimum hardware requirements of 40 tops. The hardware requirements to run Recall are quite high. To use this feature, your PC must have Snapdragon X Elite and X Plus processor, 40 tops, 225GB storage and 16GB RAM. Microsoft's strict hardware requirements for Recall will disappoint many users, but they are necessary for a quality experience and to keep data secure. So, that was it, for the Windows 11 version 24H2. Build 26 100.712 preview release, hope it was useful, consider like for the video. Subscribe to the channel and if you have any question, just comment down below. Thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.